welcome to the green apple home. I had told you I was going to show you how to do this cute little pumpkin. So I'm making good on my word. I'm going to show you how you can use just stuff around your house and just glue. If you have a hot glue gun, then you can do this project or, you know, make it up as you go. But anyways, this is the pumpkin and I'm going to use these shorts. I used to be a lot fatter than I am now. <laughs> and so these shorts don't fit anymore and they're actually pretty hideous. So um, I'm just going to take this material since it's a nice fall color and I'm going to use these. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bunch up one of the legs and then tie it off with like a rubber band. If you don't have shorts, then whatever fabric you have, you can still do this with. So we're up to this point. We just tied off a leg of my shorts that's inside out with a rubber band and we're going to eventually make this the inside of the pumpkin when we turn it out and we'll stuff it and it'll be a pumpkin like you know like this so and I am not even making sure the fabric is even because I'm gonna make it taller than I really want it to be so I'll have extra fabric to work with okay so this you can make another pumpkin with later or whatever so now we turn it inside out. Okay, so before we stuff our pumpkin, I have just cut out a little cardboard. This is a Pampers diaper box. And I'm just cutting out a little hole so uh, the material can stuff it through. The reason why I'm putting this down on the bottom is just to give the pumpkin a little bit of structure so it won't weevil and wobble because I want it to stand up like this. So it's got a little bit of structure whenever you put it down. It's kind of got like a little base. So now we go to stuffing our pumpkin. These are old bibs I'm using because even though they're clean, they're stained and no other kid's going to want to use them. They've been through three kids. Even my boy, I made him wear these little pink ones because I wasn't about to buy new bibs. Um, I had a few boy ones that he would wear in public, but at home he would wear the girl ones. <laughs> But you can use whatever kind of scraps of material you have around your house. You can use actual stuffing, but I figured I might as well put something to good use. Now we're going to gather the top and do the same thing, rubber banding it. It's kind of puffy and poofy, and really, really, if I just added leaves around this, it would be cute on its own like that. I'm just going to take off some twine. You could use yarn, embroidery floss you could use. We're going on the top, and then we're going to wrap it like a package. So one goes under and through like this, and it makes the little square, the X. Then we're going to tie it on the top. Try and tie it tight so that it makes an indention in your fabric. We're going to go on the top of the pumpkin on the opposite way of how the other strings were. No. Guys, and then we're going to, again, if you can see that, I'm going the opposite way so that the lines, there's more lines all the way around. Cutting the extra string. This is going to be covered up by the leaves we're making. These are some pants of my daughter that she's outgrown. The last Exalski Wampus in it, and it has all these oil stains on the top. So I'm just going to use the bottom of it because it's a nice brown. And I'm going to make a stem maybe, oh, I don't know, a couple inches long. So I'm just going to cut right across. So we're wrapping it around the stem tightly. And then when you get to the end, then you hot glue gun it again right on the seam so that it stays shut. Try not to burn yourself. It's a jolly fat pumpkin. Oh, it's turning out really cute actually, isn't it? Okay, so then there's two there and two there. This is just a little satchel baggie somebody had given me. And I don't need it, so I'm going to use it for this project. So then we're going to glue the leaves down. 
Okay, last but not least, we just have our leaves, and this came from a little, what do you call those, a little garland with the little berries. I'm going to twine two of them together to make it longer. I'm going to wrap it around the pumpkin. You don't have to have these. You could finish it off with some cute ribbon. It just gives it a little dimension to it and some, a punch of color here and there. I'm going to curl it by using this little glue stick so that it makes a cute curly vine. Like that, and then I'll just take it out. Boing! So there was my little pumpkin I did. It was no sew, made of 100% recyclable <laughs> material. <laughs> and... <clears throat> I don't know, you can find little pumpkins like this at Hallmark for like $30. So, you know, just make your own. The leaves are curly. It's got personality. Boing. <laughs> this is my little pumpkin craft. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on the Green Apple Home. Bye.